Today we're going to talk about the forces involved in building bridges. First we have tension. Tension pulls on objects. As you see when I pull on this elastic band it gets longer. The opposing force to that is compression. Compression is when things get crushed and pressed down. As you see when I press on this spring it gets shorter because it gets compressed. Now when building bridges if you don't distribute your weights evenly, you'll have something like this. This is buckling. So it can hold the bridge, but as soon as force is applied, oh, it just smashes and breaks under the pressure. Equally, with Lego bricks, there's tension. If I only connect one node of these two pieces and pull on them, they easily come apart. But if I catch more, urgh, doesn't really happen. So, when building bridges, you need to dissipate the energies. So here, we'll have a bridge. And the weight isn't in one particular spot. The weight transfers up the cable through tension and presses down on these four towers with compression. Multiple spots ensure stronger bridges. That way, see, I can put a lot of weight on this bridge. And it doesn't buckle, and it doesn't snap. See, if I pull on this elastic band too much, it snaps. And if you saw, I crushed this paper tower. So remember, overlap your bricks. Make sure there's a lot of surface area so you make strong bridges.